The exhibition is titled Relics. It brings together the work of three artists, Nikita Gale, Sam Moyer, and Tony Metelli. What it was really about is bringing together these three artists that I think deal with materials in very interesting, innovative, varying ways. The way that these artists think about the materials that they're using and how that correlates with ideas of like time or a record of a moment in history. Sam Moyer and Tony are based in New York, and Nikita Gale is based in Los Angeles. All three of the artists have come for the exhibition. Nikita made her work on site, which we're really excited about. And then Tony and Sam also made new works for the show. Like when I'm making this work, I'm really specifically thinking about um, histories of protest or the ways that people express dissent or have like expressed dissent over time historically. So um, rock and roll and music is a way that people have expressed dissent. Like it could be easily broadcast, but it was also kind of like a safe space to do that in some ways. Also, the, the way that the cement kind of comes into this, or like the pavement, is the relationship that that material has to the street, and the way that the street has also kind of served as the site of protest. The history of barricade construction is something that I'm really, really fascinated by. And this idea of like people taking things like out of their homes or ripping up parts of the streets to create these blockades to kind of control. It's especially exciting to be doing this in Paris just because of the history of like the French Revolution. Like, so yeah, that's like the strategy of making or the concepts that I'm thinking about with the sculptures. So should that go any closer to Sam? What if Sam went in the middle of this? That's too many, that's too much. Yeah, I like how there's this like really elegant dialogue of where you can see the curves yeah. of your work, like yeah. the scallops. Mm -hmm. Like and then the scallop in there. Do so so you think it's good in that corner right there to come out more? I like it the way it is. Okay, I think that we can also like it. I'm sorry, I'm not sure that. No, I really like it. The sculptures do a few things that I thought were interesting. Something that is at the end of its life, the statuary, and something that is permanently fresh because uh, all the perishable objects are, of course, uh, imperishable because they're cast in bronze and they're painted. One assumes that the banana is going to turn brown or the orange is going to rot, but that never happens because they're frozen in that moment, a kind of memento mori uh, or a vanitas. I think of them as a kind of soft vandalism also, you know, like there's a kind of irreverence to those, like a banana peel laid on a statue's face. There's like a narrative component to these pieces, like how do these objects get on those statues and who did that and, and uh, why are they there? Uh, so I, I like that component of these things too. Sam Moyer's work deals a lot with shape and weight and uh, kind of balancing these different weights. She's able to take something really heavy and then make it have a kind of lightness to it, of something like a marble slab that she finds and then is able to kind of structure it into a painting. And I also think that her work is a lot about light. 
So she's able to kind of create these ideas of light reflecting in this very intuitive sense that you might not be so aware that you're feeling it while standing in front of a work of hers. To me, which is something that's really special. Yeah, like, why oh, we're committing ourselves to this. <laughs>